Hello everyone, it's Vu here, and today I want to talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus leaks. It is definitely leak season, so if you don't want to be spoiled for the game, click away from this video now and basically leave the internet because I have a feeling that these leaks will be everywhere, so definitely take care. Today I want to talk about all the new Pokemon that have been leaked from Pokemon Legends Arceus, and not only that, we also have information about their stats and their typing, so we can start to get an idea of how they will perform in battle. And not only that, we even have information about their abilities. Now, abilities don't feature in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but if these Pokemon are going to feature in future main series games where you may be able to battle against other people, then abilities will be really important for the competitive scene so I want to start thinking about that too. So without further ado, let's get into this. And again, if you don't want to be spoiled, click away now. Just a note that in this video, I will avoid showing the new Pokemon. A lot of people may want to know what the how the Pokemon will perform and how good they'll be without actually seeing their designs. So, and also I don't think that the pictures that we have currently really are representative of how the Pokemon will appear in the main game with their own characteristics and behaviors. And I think that we should wait till the main series game or at least some footage comes out so that we can see how they behave. So this is just gonna be kind of the stats and abilities breakdown. So I wanna start with with the starter evolutions. Each of the final evolutions of the starters has a new Hisuian form, and the first one I'll talk about is Hisuian Decidui. So this is now a grass fighting type, no longer a grass ghost type, and its abilities have not changed. They are still overgrow and long reach for whichever game they'll feature where abilities are included. In terms of its stats, it's got 80 HP, 112 attack, 80 defense, 95 special attack, 95 special defense, and 60 speed. So compared to normal Decidueye, it's got a little bit more HP, a little bit more attack, and a little bit more defense at the cost of some special attack, some special defense, and some speed. I think it's fine to become more of a physical attacker compared to a special attacker. That's probably good if it gets moves like Swords Dance, it could get more, much more powerful. But losing speed is really not something you want to be doing. So I think that that's a bit of a drawback for Hisuian Decidueye. And overall, the stat changes probably aren't so great. It would have been nice to keep some speed, especially in Pokemon Legends Arceus, where speed seems to determine how frequently you move. And if you can move more, that's such an advantage. So I definitely think that the speed stat out of any stat in Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to be more crucial than ever. So I think that overall, the grass fighting type is nice. We've seen it with Brelu before and that does pretty well, although Breloom does have really nice abilities and also access to Spore, which I doubt Hisui and Decidueye will have. Um, but yeah, I think it could be a decent grass fighting type, I just wish it had a bit more speed. Moving on to Hisuian Typhlosion, and this is now a fire ghost type, so it's gained the ghost typing. Again, its abilities are unchanged with Blaze and Flash Fire, and in terms of its stats, there are only minor changes to based Typhlosion here. So it has slightly less HP and slightly less speed. Again, that's not ideal, but Typhlosion speed is still decent at base 95, but it gains 10 special attack. And I think that, and I think that's decent. So it's only minor losses in a couple of stats for a decent special attack gain, and its speed stat is still very usable. So I think overall, Hisuian Typhlosion will be pretty good. Fire Ghost is very good special attacking typing. So I think it can deal a lot of damage with that. It's looking pretty nice, a pretty solid choice. Now let's look at Hisuian Samurott. It's now water dark typing, so it's gained the dark typing, which is a pretty good offensive typing. It's got quite a few weaknesses, but it can put out a lot of damage. In terms of abilities, again, not chains, torrent, and shell armor, not particularly great abilities, but it's fine for what Samurott has to do. And in terms of stats, it has slightly less HP defense and special defense compa compared to base Samurott and it has switched its attack and special attack stats. So now it's more of a physical attacker, which it kind of was before anyway, despite its physical attack being lower, it had sword stance and that was one of the better sets that it could use. So this actually represents what Samurott does better anyway. And then it gains 15 speed. And I would say that the cost of some of its bulk for all of that speed is really, really great. Samurott definitely has the best stat changes out of all of the starters, and it's looking pretty great. It's definitely a wall breaker. It will deal a lot of damage with that type combination, and it's just a little bit faster, which will definitely help it out. So Samurott's looking pretty strong going into this game. 
So Arcanine now has a new Hisuian form and it is Fire Rock typing. So it's gained the Rock typing, which I mean is quite good offensively. It can hit other fire types now, which it kind of struggled with before, but defensively it now has a four times weakness to both water and ground, which is not fantastic. So we have to hope that this thing can KO things before it has to take too many attacks. In terms of abilities, the abilities are unchanged from base Arcanine, so it's got Intimidate, Flash Fire, and Justified, which are all decent abilities. And in terms of stats, it's gained a little bit of HP, base 95 HP, a little bit of attack at base 115 attack. So both of those stats are strong. It's looking pretty bulky, and it will hit really hard on that physical side. It's lost a little bit of special attack, which probably isn't too much of an issue. Most rock types like to be attacking on the physical side anyway and it has strong fire type attacks in previous games so that seems to be fine and it does lose, lose a little bit of speed which is a bit of a shame base 90 is still okay but losing speed isn't great overall not massive changes but that rock typing is the biggest change here and you'll need to be much more careful with your arcanine because it does have more weaknesses so now let's talk about one that i was really excited about we saw his Syrian voltorb teased and it does have an evolution in Hisuian Electrode. This is an electric grass type, which is a really nice type combination. It hits a lot of things for super effective damage, and it's just really cool to see we have more electric grass types. Its abilities are unchanged in Soundproof, Static, and Aftermath, which aren't amazing, but can be usable. And in terms of its stats, they are unchanged from the base Electrode, so it's extremely fast but it doesn't have too much offense and it's not super bulky. That special attack stat of 80 is only okay. However, in Pokemon Legends Arceus, where your speed stat dictates how frequently you move, if you're moving three times before the opponent can even attack, you're gonna be outputting a lot of damage because you can just keep attacking them. So actually, I think this Pokemon is gonna be pretty strong despite its low offensive stats. I'm really excited to check it out and use it and I think it could be really cool. Let's move on to Cleavor. This is a Pokemon that has been teased and it's the evolution of Scyther. It's a bug rock type and it has the Swarm, Sheer Force and Steadfast abilities. Sheer Force is looking pretty good here. If it has moves with secondary effects, they'll get a damage boost. And looking at its stats, that base 135 attack stat with Sheer Force damage boost will be brutal. It's got decent overall bulk, but not amazing. Bug Rock typing is pretty good defensively though. It's not got too many weaknesses, despite both of them having a lot of weaknesses individually. Bug Rock together is pretty good. And it's got a speed stat of 85. I wasn't really expecting this um, because I would maybe compare it to Scizor. I would have thought that it would be a little bit slower than Scizor, if anything, but it's actually a lot faster. So that base 85 speed stat and base 135 attack stat means it's probably going to be quite a nice wall breaker doing a ton of damage. So that one's gonna be really interesting to see how it shakes out. Now let's move on to some unannounced Pokemon. And the first one is gonna be Hisuian Quillfish. So Quillfish now has a Hisuian form. And actually it does get an evolution in this game, but why I wanted to talk about Hisuian Quillfish is that it potentially will be able to hold the Eviolite in future games, which is something that Pokemon that can evolve, they get a boost to their defenses. So. Hisuian Quillfish is Dark Poison typing. This is a very nice defensive typing with very few weaknesses. It will only be weak to ground typing, which is pretty good. And uh, Quillfish also has the Intimidate ability, which drops the opponent's attack stat. So if it's able to hold the Eviolite with its decent defensive stats already, they don't look too impressive, but with the Eviolite, that would definitely be very good, especially with Intimidate and very few weaknesses. I think this Pokemon could be a really nice Eviolite user if there are any future games which do feature Eviolite. But now let's move on to Overquill, which is maybe the more exciting part of this. So this is Quillfish's Evolution. Again, Dark Poison typing, very nice typing. And looking at its stats, it basically gets a really nice HP boost, really nice defense boost, a little bit of a special attack, special defense boost too. But that attack stat is really what we're looking at here. So this is the much more offensive version of Quillfish. What's interesting is that it keeps Swift Swim, despite being a Dark Poison type. So this could be really interesting on rain teams, which usually have a lot of water types. Water types take grass types, 
and dark poison typing is pretty good for taking on those grass types. So you could have a swift swim sweeper that is not a water type. Very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how Overquill performs. Also, I think that this is definitely the best new name. That is such a cool Pokemon name. Another unannounced new Pokemon is Hisuian Sneasel. And this again evolves, but I just wanted to look at Hisuian Sneasel as a potential Eviolite user. And because Sneasel usually evolves anyway to Weavile, but Sneasel in itself is very good too because of a few things. So this is now Poison Fighting Typing, which we've seen before with the Toxicroak family that perform quite a unique role because that, that is very niche typing and it's pretty good offensive typing actually, able to take, take on fairies and steel types which often p perform like a really powerful defensive core, you can break them apart just with this type combination. So that's pretty cool. In terms of its stats, they haven't changed. So it's still very fast. It has a really nice attacking stat typing and it keeps the inner focus ability, which was a big selling point for Sneasel over Weavile sometimes. It can't be flinched and it doesn't get attack drops from Intimidate. So that may be a reason to use Hisuian Sneasel. As we can now look at its evolution, which will be Sneasler, which is poison fighting. I would say this is probably the worst new Pokemon name. Overquill was so good. And then they just went with Sneasler, Sneasler for this. So I'm not so sure about that. But yeah, the poison fighting typing again, and it, instead of inner focus, we have pressure and poison touch. Poison touch is probably gonna be decent for this Pokemon. It's quite a nice ability just to spread poisons around. In terms of its stats, it's basically very powerful. That attack stat is huge and it's very fast. It's a little bit faster than Sneasel and a lot more powerful. So this one is going to be a sweeper for sure. It's gonna move so many times in Pokemon Legends Arceus and it's gonna do a lot of damage. So this really could be a massive threat. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays in the game. So now we're going to move on to a pretty crazy one. This is Ursa Luna, which is the evolution of Ursa Ring. And Ursa Ring was already a pretty powerful Pokemon. It had a Massive attack stat. Ursa Luna is just insane. So it looks like Ursa Ring doesn't get a, Hus a Hisuian form. It just evolves. And Ursa Luna is normal ground typing, which is a really cool typing. I really like it actually. I think it could do a lot of damage. Normal typing is very spammable generally, but then you have to worry about rock and steel types, which the ground typing will be able to hit super effectively. So that sounds really good. In terms of abilities, it gets Guts, Bulletproof, and Unnerve but I would guess Guts gets used the most to boost that insane base 140 attack stat even further when it's affected by a status. And looking at its stats, it is pretty crazy. It's just so bulky. 130 HP and 105 defense is mental. And 80 special defense is not so bad either, especially with that ridiculous HP stat. But then 140 attack is just mental. So this thing isn't very fast, and I guess that's the one thing that's maybe keeping it in balance, but it does seem very crazy just from those stats. Maybe in Pokemon Legends Arceus, where speed seems to be very important for determining how frequently you move, because it's slower, that's more balanced, but in future games, like this thing will be a monster. Maybe in Trick Room, this thing could decimate teams. So yeah, really interesting. I think that this thing will be very, very fun to use, just tanking attacks and destroying the opponent. Moving on to Weird Ear, so we've seen this in some of the trailers. It's normal psychic typing, and the abilities are similar to Stantler's, so Intimidate, Frisk, and Sapsipper. In terms of its stats, it has 103 HP, which is really nice, 105 in both of its attacking stats, which is re really usable. Compared to Stantler, it didn't have so much going for it. Having a really nice HP stat and some really good offenses is pretty good. Um, in terms of its defenses, they're only middling and its speed stat is kind of slow. So it remains to be seen whether this thing will be bulky enough and will put out enough damage. A lot of the time you kind of want to see Pokemon a bit more min-maxed. So rather than having 105 attack and 105 special attack, it might have been better if only one of those attacking stats was even higher. But we'll see. It could be an amazing mixed attacker and it could do a lot of damage. I'm looking forward to seeing how this Pokemon performs. This next one really took me by surprise. So it's another Hisuian form and it's Hisuian Lilligant. This is not something that I would have predicted ever. Its typing is Grass Fighting, which I think is kind of crazy because we've also got Hisuian Decidueye with the Grass Fighting typing. And 
Um, I think Asui and Lilligan is kind of just better. So looking at its abilities, it potentially will have Chlorophyll, Hustle, and Leaf Guard. Hustle is a really good one here. Obviously in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we won't see this, but maybe in future games we will. That boosts its attacks by 1.5 times at the cost of some accuracy, which is always the drawback, but it means that it will be hitting so hard. In terms of its stats, this is a big Lilligan rework. Lilligan is usually a special attacker using Quiver Dance to boost up its special attack, but now we see that Hisuian Lilligant is actually a physical attacker, so it's lost all of that special attack and pumped it into its attack stat, but also it's got quite a bit faster too. Base 105 is really, really nice. So now this thing is pretty fast and hits pretty hard, and compared to Decidueye, that's, I think, a better combination. Decidueye is very slow, a bit bulkier, but hits just about as hard. I think that actually Hisuian Illigant might be a better option here. It just depends on what you prefer, and you may prefer the designs of one over the other, who knows. Moving on to some more Pokemon we've seen in the trailers, let's look at Basque Legion, and interestingly, this has a male and a female form with different stats. They are both water ghost typing, which is really nice. It's a good offensive typing, and we've only really seen it with the Jellicent family before, which are more special attackers and very bulky. They're not actually very offensive. These things are looking to be much more offensive, which is cool. The potential abilities in future game are Rattled, Adaptability, and Mold Breaker, all of which I think have some utility, although Adaptability seems to be the way to go. Getting extra stab boosts on water and ghost type moves will be crazy. So in terms of stats, the Basket Legion male has a massive HP of 120, which is not what I was expecting from a Basculin evolution. Basculin was relatively frail, but pretty fast and powerful. But we have this massive HP stat. It does have 112 attack, which is going to hit really hard. In future games, if it gets that adaptability, this thing will just be a monster. Its defenses are still pretty low, but kind of more balanced now that it has such a big HP pool. Its special attack is kind of okay, but not great, and its speed has been dropped, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so it's, it's gotten a lot bulkier, but a bit slower, but at least it's more powerful. In terms of the female version, it's pretty similar apart from that its attack stat has gone down, but its special attack stat has gone up pretty far, which is quite nice because Water Ghost are actually types that have very good special attacks, so that could be really nice using those special attacks for the female version. So yeah, that's the, really the only change. I think that these are pretty cool. The speed stat being a bit slower, it's still usable. That's the thing with all of these stats is that its defenses aren't great, but it's got a big HP pool. Its speed is middling, it's still fine. And then its attacking stats are pretty good. So I think we'll have to see how this performs in battle. I'm kind of looking forward to trying this one out though. Hisuian Zorog has also been shown in some trailers and we know that it's normal ghost typing which is just amazing this is one of the most hyped up typings that we don't yet have so i'm really really looking forward to this its ability in future games will be illusion and looking at the stats we've got slightly less hp it's very frail anyway so i don't know if that's going to make a big difference it was always very frail it's got slightly less attack but it's got slightly more special attack so i don't think that matters too much and it's got slightly more speed which i think is really nice to be honest, I don't think that Hisuian Zorok will miss its attack or HP stats very much. I think that going into special attack and speed is probably going to help it out more than anything. So this is looking really strong. I think Hisuian Zorok could be very good. Just watch out because it will be very frail. Moving on to Hisuian Bravery, and this has the Psychic Flying typing. Its abilities in future games will be Keen Eye, Sheer Force, and Defiant which I'll have more to say on in a sec, and it's stats. So this is a huge rework, maybe the biggest rework out of any of the Pokemon. Um, so it's it used to be a bulky physical attacker, and it's now definitely much more of a special attacker. Its bulk has been fiddled with, but not changed too much, but it also has lost some speed. Overall, what this means is it's still a pretty bulky Pokemon. It's now a special attacker, slightly less powerful and slightly slower, <laughs> which is not ideal for Hisuian Bravery. Although overall, its stats are still pretty decent. I just am a bit upset about the speed stat. I think that's, that's a bit sad. But what's really weird is that it's still got the Defiant ability. 
And when now it's much more of a special attacker, it would have been cool to see that being changed to a competitive, but sheer force will still work really well in future games if it has access to certain moves like Air Slash or Hurricane or Psychic. All these things will get the sheer force boost, and so it will be a very, very powerful attacker. So yeah, this one, it could be really good. I think it could be really good. We've got a lot of Psychic Flying types already, but Hisuian Bravery definitely has some things up its sleeve that others don't, mainly that sheer force power. Moving on to another new Hisuian form that I really wouldn't have guessed coming out, which is Hisuian Avalug. This thing is ice rock typing. We have seen that before in the Aurorus family. The issue with it is it's got a ton of weaknesses, like so many. It's got quad weaknesses to steel and fighting, as well as a number of other very common weaknesses. So that's the main problem with this. Its abilities are strong jaw, ice body, and sturdy. Really interesting to see strong jaw there. So it should have some very powerful biting attacks, which is cool. And in terms of its stats, this one's a pretty weird one. It's got more attack, which is really nice to see. So this thing will be hitting very hard. It's as bulky on the physical side as ever. So despite it having four times weaknesses to steel and fighting, I would imagine that Hisuian Avalog will still be able to tank physical hits from those types quite well anyway, just because it's insanely bulky. However, on the special side, it's lost special attack. That's not a problem at all. But it's lost special defense, which was already very low. That is a bit of a problem. If any special move comes its way, it's going to struggle taking it. And it's gained speed, which seems really odd because actually when you're this slow, like base 38 speed is still extremely slow. There's not really any point boosting it from base 28 that it used to be. And actually when you're this slow, the slower you are, it's actually maybe sometimes more of a benefit because you'll be then be even faster in Trick Room. Uh, in this game, I don't think Trick Room will be a strategy we can use. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. So maybe that's why it's been given plus 10 speed. But overall, I think the plus 10 speed is really pointless and doesn't really help the Pokemon out at all. It would have been nice to see those stats go into its physical attack or its HP or maybe even its special defense. It needs more special defense. Uh, but it's kind of cool to have a min-max Pokemon like this. So we'll see how Avalog does. Um, I, I like that it gets sturdy. I think that it may need that to take up some of these special hits. Uh, Ice Rock typing is really interesting. And yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Now we're moving on to some uh, Pokemon that again, I didn't see coming, but I'm so hyped about now. First one, Hisuian Sligu, which does obviously evolve into Hisuian Gudra. This is really, really cool. It's now Dragon Steel typing, which is amazing typing. It's got a ton of resistances and yeah, it's just really nice. Also, it pairs pretty well because Dragon's pretty spammable, apart from against Fairy types, which you can then hit super effectively with Steel type. So that's very nice. In terms of its abilities, it's kept the same ability. Sap Sipper isn't so great now that you four times resist grass, it's kind of not necessary, but can be nice to get attack boosts if you switch in on those grass type attacks. Overcoat kind of seems unnecessary if you're taking grass type moves because you may as well just have Sap Sipper instead, but it can still be helpful in certain things like Rage Powder, for example, in doubles battles. And then it's got Gooey, which is its signature ability, which can be pretty fun. So in terms of its stats, the reason I wanted to show Hisuian Sligu uh, before Hisuian Gudra is this Pokemon is going to be insane if it ever gets access to the Eviolite. So it's got slightly less HP, which is a bit of a shame because its HP pool wasn't amazing to begin with, but but still, um, its defenses are insane. So it's lost a bit of speed, but it wasn't a fast Pokemon anyway. Losing speed isn't so much of an issue when you're so slow. And it's gained 30 points in defense. So now if you give it Eviolite, it has a really decent defense stat. It has an amazing special defense stat, and you'll be boosting these by 1.5 times. It's just kind of mind boggling. I'm so excited for the potential of this Pokemon. I just can't wait. I love unevolved Pokemon that can do really well, and I definitely think that Hisuian Sligu has so much potential. But let's look at Hisuian Gudra, because really that's, I think, what it, we are meant to be using because it's the final evolution. Again, Dragon Steel typing with the same abilities. And if we look at the stat spread, the same stat changes that happened for Hisuian Slagu have been implemented for Hisuian Gudra. So it's got slightly less HP overall and slightly less speed, but it was never a super speedy Pokemon and its speed stat is kind of still usable, but it's gained defense. With this typing and these defensive stats, it will be so hard to take down. So I actually really like these changes. I think Hisuian Gudra will be very fun to use. 
it's the typing and stats are just such a nice combination. Very, very good. Moving on to the final Pokemon that we have here, and it's actually a legendary Pokemon with two forms. It's actually a new genie Pokemon like Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus, and it's called Enamorous, and it has the fairy flying typing, which is really nice typing. Defensively, it's really good. In terms of abilities, it has Healer and Contrary, which in, in the incarnate form is slightly disappointing because Prankster is definitely better than Healer. Prankster is one of the best abilities in the game, which Tornadus and Thunderous get access to. So slightly disappointed that this gets Healer instead of Prankster. It could have potentially had Sheer Force as well, looking at Landorus, uh, but Healer's fine. We'll just have to work with it. Contrary may be better. In terms of stats, this thing is more offensive than the other genies at the cost of a little bit of speed and bulk. So it should hit pretty darn hard. Base 135 special attack is crazy. Base 115 attack is still very usable, especially considering that contrary ability in future games. That could be pretty good. It also has a Therian form like the other genies. It has the same typing, but its ability changes to Overcoat, which is a decent ability. It protects you from things like Sleep Powder, Rage Powder, Stun Spore. So that's all right. And in terms of its stats, it has a pretty big stat change. So instead of being pretty fast and offensive, the offenses don't change, but it becomes insanely bulky, but very slow. So I don't think that that's too big of an issue for this Pokemon with, with very flying typing. Um, actually, a defensive set is probably quite viable because it's a very good defensive typing. It does have a number of weaknesses, uh, but it also has a number of resistances and immunities too. So I think this is pretty nice. It could be very interesting to use. Um, so yeah, that one's a pretty cool one. Okay, so those are all the new Pokemon with their stats, abilities, and typings discussed. I'd love to know your opinions of them in the comments section below. Let me know what you're planning to use in your playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. There's a ton more information about mechanics changes, new moves, and things like that, which I might cover soon. So definitely subscribe for more Pokemon Legends Arceus content. All that's left to be said for now is I've been Foo, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.